ancient Greeks were people with a very complicated mind, to my taste. Therefore, their beliefs were also very complex, very confusing. I think nowadays we would not be able to keep in our heads that horde of gods and strange creatures. Let's get through them. So, the first generation of ancient Greek gods. In the beginning there was nothing. Emptiness. Chaos. From chaos appeared sky, night and darkness, earth and abyss. The second generation of gods, night and darkness, had children. Air and day, brothers sleep, death and love, and all sorts of unpleasant stuff, that is, violent death, fate, mockery and stupidity, retribution, discord, revenge, deception and madness. The earth and sky had children, the sea and different sea gods, as well as Titans and Titanites, Hecanton Heros, hundred-armed, fifty-headed giants, the personification of the elements, Cyclopes and giants. Well, with the seas, the feelings, so weather, elements, it is uh, quite clear that is weather of nature. Uh, but the Titans and Titanites were quite remarkable. They are often presented in uh, myths and legends. There are traditionally 12 of them. Cronus, Achaeanus, Themis, Prometheus. We have heard about all of them. From the Titans and Titanites there appeared the third generation of uh, gods, the Olympic gods, gods living on Mount Olymp in Greece. There are traditionally 12 of them. Apollo, Ares, Artemis, Athena, Aphrodite, Hera, Hestia, Hermes, Hephaestus, Demeter, Zeus, Poseidon. Probably those characters are most known to us from ancient Greek myths and legends and I will tell about them in another separate video. From the relations of the Olympic gods with other goddesses and Titanites, there appeared the fourth generation of gods. They are Nike, Luck, Iris, Rainbow, Hymen, Marriage, Asclepius, Medicine, Morpheus, Dreams and others. And the muse, and the muses, inspirational goddesses of arts and sciences, such as Terpsichore, Clio, Melpomene, and others. The Olympians also seduced ordinary people. From the connection of the Olympic gods with earthly women, there appeared heroes – Achilles, Heracles, Odysseus, Perseus, Jason, they possessed supernatural skills or strength and performed many heroic deeds. Separately, there were deities of nature and of the forest, nymphs and satyrs, and wonderful creatures, griffins, unicorns, dragons, centaurs, gorgons, pegasus, phoenixes, and a bunch of others. I think we will talk about them separately. Uh, by the way, if you are curious uh, to see some of them first, please write it in the comments. I will try to prepare the video as soon as possible. Here is briefly how the ancient Greeks imagined uh, the wonderful world around them. Isn't it too difficult? I think it really is. Please put a like if you like and subscribe to the channel. I will be very happy to see you again. Bye-bye.